This has been a particularly rough week. Uh, so I thought we would end it off with something lighter. You know? So let's talk about abortion. Uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, I said that wrong. This is not about abortion, wait, it's not about abortion. This is a story that involves abortion. You know what, actually, okay, just trust me, trust me. <laughs> trust me on this, whether you're pro-life or pro-choice, everyone is going to be pro this story, because it's hilarious. <laughs> I would like for you to meet Tim Murphy. He's a Republican congressman from Pennsylvania and number four on the barber's charts of haircuts, right? <laughs> uh, Tim Murphy, Tim Murphy has spent his whole career fighting abortion. He's part of the pro-life caucus, and just this week, he co-sponsored a bill to ban all abortions after 20 weeks, which is why this story is so insane. A vocal pro-life congressman from Pennsylvania is now right in the middle of a scandal. His former mistress claims Republican Tim Murphy urged her to get an abortion. Oh, sh <laughs> And the same week, the same week he puts up an abortion ban, this dude's timing could not be worse. He's like, let's ban all abortions, yeah! And she's like, I'm pregnant. Oh, all right, we gotta get you to Canada because these crazy assholes just banned abortion. We gotta get you there right now, right now. <laughs> just so you know, Murphy's mistress wasn't actually pregnant, right? It was just a scare, which makes this even funnier. <laughs> The guy didn't even wait a day. He didn't even wait a day to confirm it before he abandoned his entire belief system. <laughs> Tim Murphy would make the world's worst spy. He'd be undercover and some dude would be like, hey, are you Tim Murphy? You got me. I've been secretly leaking our secrets to government. You'll never take me alive. Sign that pill. Mmm. <laughs> I'm just delivering your pizza, man. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Whether you are pro-choice or pro-life, I think we can all come together to laugh at this man. <laughs> because when you see how hardcore he claimed to be against abortion his entire career. But it always has distressed me when sometimes these arguments come out about pro-life or pro-choice or abortion. It's somehow because a person is only a man, he doesn't get to have input on that. There is no more humbling but prouder thing to do than to save a child's life. It is not just some amorphous cells there floating about, but these are real beings, real beings. And he's a real asshole. <laughs> real asshole. Oh, and if, if you're wondering, how on earth could someone say those things about abortion in public? and then in, pri in private, urge his side chick to have an abortion, well, uh, buckle up, because his excuse is gonna take you for a ride. According to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, in January, Murphy's alleged mistress, Shannon Edwards, texted him saying, you have zero issue posting your pro-life stance all over the place when you had no issue asking me to abort our unborn child just last week. Murphy reportedly responded, I get what you say about my March for Life messages. I've never written them. Staff does them. Wow. Wow. This guy's my favorite. It was his staff the whole time? Like, for years, he just read whatever they put in front of him? Really? Abortion is murder. That seems harsh, guys, but okay, I'm reading it. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> like, what a unique excuse for a leader to use. I don't believe it, my staff just wrote it. What if the leader of ISIS tried the same thing? <laughs> we will chop off the heads of all the infidels. Wow, all, you guys are rough, oh, you guys are... <laughs> this is crazy, oh, whatever, I'm just reading the prompter, I'm doing my thing, whatever. <laughs> so after the scandalous news broke this week, today Congressman Murphy made a big announcement. Breaking news right now in our politics lead embattled Republican Congressman uh, Tim Murphy of Pennsylvania we are told will resign his seat effective October 21st. Oh, It's such a pity that Tim Murphy terminated his career before it came to term. <laughs> such a pity. <laughs> no. This is not a joke, people. This is real sad. <laughs> real sad.